So, well, New York is an early morning for me, but I, I really don't care. So, James Neal, I think this one, I think this one's the sense, it's not the end of free agency, but I think this could have been probably, you know, the last big, big player. Like, the only couple I could see is, you know, the one person I could think of right now is Calvin DeHaan. The only one I really think of. But, anyway, James Neal, and yesterday when I went to bed, which was, right now where I live, it's 9.40 in the morning. I went to bed at 1, so 8 hours ago, Neal was not signed, and I was thinking, what in the world? Why the hell is James Neal not signed? I'm like, uh, you know, it's not going to take long, it should, it should be an early signing tomorrow. It should be a signing not like that. Uh, I was expecting like a signing like early, early, and not that I wasn't expecting this early. Anyway, James Neal signed a five-year, $28.75 million deal to the Calgary Flames. And I thought that was interesting. You know, what they added into their team yesterday, and uh, they got like this team, and they have the cap space, so I don't see why not. I don't think to a son we sign everyone with half and then they're fine. I can oh, I can't even think of that other guy. They signed two players yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry about this. I'm going to get right into it. Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, now they signed two player, big players yesterday. Uh, Ryan, Derek Ryan, and another guy. I can't remember his name. They traded Lint for Hannafin and Lindholm a, a week ago, and now they signed James Neal. So now they're also kind of busy. I thought it was between them and St. Louis yesterday. It was busy in trades. Uh, it's been busy, not just yesterday, but for a while now. And I was between those two. Anyway, five year, $28.75 million deal. Five, 5.75 per year. So that's not a bad contract for James Neal, the way he plays. This season, 71 games, 25 goals, 19 assists for 44 points. Again, on that deal, he scored 25 goals. That's not a bad contract. Got uh, 703 games, 263 goals, 232 assists, 495 points in his career. So you're, you're getting a solid player, James Neal. Oh, by the way, he's a left wing, and he's about to turn 32 in September. So he'll be 32 when this season starts. Uh, playoff stats, he played 20 games this season in the playoffs, scored 6 goals and 5 assists for 11 points. And his career in the playoffs, he has 100 games, 31 goals, 24 assists for 55 points. So, Calgary, they're getting a solid player in James Neal. I, that, that's one, that, I, the one thing I think of right now that's not the best is where do you put him? I mean, right now, your first line stands this Gujaro, Marhan, Lindo. Gujo and Monahan are not moving anywhere. They're their first line guys. Gujo's the left wing, so Neil can't. Unless you put Neil on that first line right wing, put him over on the right wing side, I can see that. But then Lindholm is will put on the second line. And to me, I think 
Lento should stay there to have him grow more to be. Uh, your second log, the chalk back when for a week again. The chalk is that left wing. I wouldn't move him because he needs to grow. Uh, back when I was the old uh, center, and then he got uh, for a week again. Maybe put him on the right wing spot. That's one thing. And then your third line, I mean, Neil, right now it's Bennett, Jen, Jankowski, and Fu. Again, probably could put him where Bennett is, but putting James Neal on the third line, he's definitely, to me, he's a solid second liner to me. And then your bottom line, Lazar, Lazar Shore, and Brower. Yeah. My only concern is where do you put James Neal? And like I said, my guess is they maybe put him on the right wing where either Lindholm or Frolik is. Because if you put him on the third line, yes, that makes the third line great. Because, you know, he's on the third line, James Neal on the third line. But then again, you have James Neal on the third line. If you put him on the first or second, it could contribute more things for the other two players. And what this adds for Calgary as well as experience. Look at that offense. Besides kneeling, look at it. I tell me one player out of all those 12 who have experience. I can't see it. And that's why I think James Neal's a good addition. He won the cup back in 09. He was in the finals in 2016 or 2017. He was in the finals in 2017. My bad. You know, he's been to the finals. None of these players have. So he knows what it's like. So he could be, I don't think he'll be the captain. I highly doubt that. But he could be a great leadership role there in Calgary. That's what I like about that. Uh, so yeah. That's uh, that's it, James Neal, five year, twenty eight point seven five million dollars to the Calgary Flames. My only concern is where do you put him? I mean, I can see him, I can see Calgary putting him on that right wing spot, but that's now you know regular season doesn't start for a solid two month, two three months, so we'll find out then. Calgary is making a lot of moves lately, like it. And that's all we have today. We'll see you guys in the next one.